Have you ever heard about a multi-seed wallet? With squads, you can create a vault with all your friends and take a decision as a group. Back to Solana ecosystem. Today, we are reviewing squads, a collaboration infrastructure for Web3 native teams. It's a way that you can create smooth seek, treasure management, on-chain decision making, sub DAOs, and more. Jump into their website. We got here squads, collaborative solutions. So having an overview here, looking nice, nice interface, contribute together, provide service to DAOs, aping together, pull funds, co-invest and share profits. Ship together, vote on your project direction, store VC raised funds and pay contributions. Multi-signature, manage teams and assets by requiring multi signatures to confirm a transaction. And this, I find it super interesting. It's a way that you can create a, a locked fund that in order to move funds, you need uh, more than one. I don't know, let's say that you open a squad with a friend and you want to, let's say, invest together. In order to move funds, you need a signature for both. So it's also a way that... Uh, you, you need a, a majority or the entire team to approve whenever you do your move. So, okay, let's let's see how it works. Got here squads, let's launch application, connect wallet. Yeah, I have my phantom wallet, I connecting it here. That squads, setting it to connect. And here we go, it goes, you can create your squad. Pretty straightforward. So there's two types. We have the multi-sig squad, that's a simple multi-signature wallet, requires signatures of multiple team members to confirm a transaction. Or the teams codified on-chain membership, tokenless member weight, on-chain voting. Let's go with multi-sig, it's a more simple uh, structure. So next, name your squad. Squad test, busy squad test. You can add a picture to it and click next. Then you can add up to three initial owners. So here it's your wallet. Then you can add another one owner. I'm going to add another wallet. So this one is another Solana wallet. Click next. And then you can decide the amount of confirmation is to approve a transaction. So if you just want of the wallets, the two, and the more wallets you add, you can decide if you want the majority of everyone is to approve. Then you move it to next. That's the squad test, final review. That's the fee gonna pay to open it. So let's deploy it and see how it works. Go ahead and approve this transaction and wait it into the process. Here we go, my squad is being approved. So you can see here all transactions, owners, everyone that it's an owner here, you can add or remove the vault. And here is when you can start adding pounds to this vault and NFTs. So right now it's at zero, so like we can receive it. So this, this squad has an address of itself. And uh, you can also yeah, deposit from here. So I'm going to to make a deposit. If I hit here deposit, it comes straight from my wallet. So I have it here, 0 0.19 Solana. So let's put 0 0.05 deposit. And then I got to approve this transaction. All right, now we have $5 here on the vault. Let's try to make a transaction. Move these funds to see what happens. So I'm gonna move half of it to USDC, the description, moving USDC, pop, and then I got a proof transaction, and then as I started the transaction, now all the owners of this vault, they must approve it. So I started here the swap of 0 0.25 so to USDC, all the information is here, and you got to cast your vote. So we need two votes out of the two owners. So you can either reject it, reject or accept. So I'm going to accept this with one, uh, one account. And interesting noting, 
it took around half an hour for because I created with this address this account and I added a second wallet as another owner. Take around half an hour for the vault appear on on the other wallet. And then back here, I approved one, with one one account here. And see, you can't execute this transaction up until both of them are confirmed. So now I'm moving to the another one and approving it. And then once both address or all the address on this vault has been approved, the order is ready for execution. And then we can execute it. Approved transaction. Now this transaction is being approved and closed. We can see here everything that happened. If you go back to our vault, we will to see here the swap. When it happened, how it happened, back to transactions, you can see how it worked. So it is a nice way to take these decisions together. And then of course, if you want to remove assets from here, you will require both um, approvals. And at the same time, if you want to remove or add new owners, it's again, you have to go through the vote and uh, everyone has to approve as initial agreements or if at some point you want to change because right now all two wallets they have to approve to move forward you can change the number of confirmations or if you want to put one or add new members you can three four whatever it is and of course to approve any change everyone that's assigned has to has to sign for it and currently you can't invest directly from your squad's account like if you'd like to because now we have the found stopped here. You want to move it somewhere, put a yield farming, make it work. You have to move it out. But having a look on their April the 4th, their recent um, update, they're soon adding a way that you can invest straight from your account. And that would be super nice because then you don't have to move funds out of your wallet. You can, if they add some staking rewards and uh, some ways to invest straight from here, it would be perfect because then you can have all these shared uh, environment all on your dashboard and um, they have some nice stuff coming if you go through their the roadmap and everything it looks like they, they have some good things in store for us so keep an eye and if you haven't yet created today your squad account and invite some friends to invest together in crypto Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not uh, forget to subscribe to the channel and give it some likes so I can keep producing at this nice pace and bringing more news about Web3 to you. See you next time!